Welcome back everybody to my first Blender tutorial. So this is the 3D studio graphics design, whatever you want to call it, program that I use. And it's an open source free software, so I'll leave the link in the description. And for my first tutorial on this, I'm going to be showing you how to put videos in your outro because there's a lot of people like me who used to uh, use who used to use Windows Lab Movie Maker as a video editor and you could not do things like this. So um, today I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So the first thing you see when you open, in blend, uh, open up Blender is this. And I'm expecting you guys to know how to use this somewhat already. If you don't, you can look up another tutorial on that and stuff. So... Yeah, uh, like middle mouse is just to move around. That's I mean that's one of the most basic things there is. Right click is to select things, not left click, but right click, and stuff like that. So you see over here uh, on your render tab. Um, so there's multiple things right here. The only thing you really need to worry about right now is the render tab right here. So if it's not already on that, click this camera, and you see buttons like render, animate, uh, and audio. But there's only a few things that you really need to uh, focus on. So we have resolution. Um, me, I personally go in 1280 by 720, so you can change that uh, to 720p if you want. Um, keep it at 1080p, I don't care. Uh, this is important right here, 50% resolution. You want to turn that up to 100 so it looks the best. Um, frame rate, that just depends on your video. If you want, if you have a 60 FPS video, then you're going to do 60. If you have a 30 FPS video, you're going to do 30. Please don't do 24 FPS, that's bad. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go with 30 FPS for now. And yeah, that's basically about it right here. Uh, if you're going to render it as PNGs, you can also turn the compression up if you want to, but I'm going to re render mine as a video, so yeah, that's really about it. Um, we're not going to be using this 3D plane right here. We're actually going to be using the video editor or the video sequence editor. I think that's what it's called. Yes, yeah, so you're going to click this right here, this little menu, I don't know what you'd call it, and click video sequence editor, and you see this just these big bars everywhere. What you're going to want to do is, you see these three little things right here, just click that one. I don't really know all the names for them, so I'm just saying these little things and stuff. I'm sorry, but you, you're going to have to deal with it. <laughs> so now you see you have a black um, box right here. It's a preview box, so you can actually see what you're uh, editing. So uh, then press N on your keyboard, the letter N. I hope you guys know what that is. Um, so then it pulls up this menu. You'll need this in a little bit. Uh, just keep it like this for now. Um, it's fine. So now you're going to want to go ahead and get your videos. So I'm going to go ahead and locate toward that. Or not your video, your outro, sorry. Um, if you want me to make a tutorial on how to make an outro, I will, but um, it's not the hardest thing to do. So go ahead and just find your outro. Uh, make sure it's like a PNG or a JPEG. And just go ahead and click and drag onto one of these little boxes right here. So you see... Um, there's this little rectangle here that's the actual video clip so you're gonna right click and hold it and drag it across to the very end of this but you see that it goes 250 frames so this is frames right here it's not seconds so this is 250 frames and since i'm doing a 30 fps video 300 frames would be uh 10 seconds so i what i want to do is since 300 frames is 10 seconds, I'm going to do 600 frames because that's 20 seconds. And that's my outro length for most of my uh, videos. So, yeah, turn that to 600 where it says end. If you're doing a 60 FPS, a 20 second outro would be 1200 FPS. Just do the math, you know. I hope you guys can do math because, um, you know, like I said, I, I expect you guys to know how to use Blender already. Because if you don't, you can look up a tutorial. If you don't know how to do math, then you need to go back to school and stuff like that. <laughs> um, So... You see, you're going to right click and hold on this now, and you're going to drag it up. So now it's actually a layer above. So, um, yeah, that's where you, you could put your music here if you wanted. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm not going to render it with music just because, but now you're going to want to actually find your video that you want to put in your little rectangle. Be sure, uh, be sure that that's transparent, by the way. You can tell by the little checkers right there. So... Yeah, let me go ahead and get my video. This is my one-year subscriber special, or not my one-year subscriber special, my one-year YouTube special. So if you guys haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out. Um, what I just deleted right there, I'll put it back. This is the audio strip. I personally do not render my outros with an audio strip. Um, like, I don't render it with the actual audio from the video that's in the box, but you can if you want to. I just turn the music down, uh, but... Yeah, that's that. So this is your actual video right here. Um, you can't really see it, but if I render out a frame, uh, actually no, you can't see it because it's you have to put it on the top. So see now, um, this is on top of the actual outro, and that's what we want. So that's good. Um, so go ahead and line it up uh, on frame one, or you can move it around. You can make it, you know, you can move it to a different part of the video. Just right click and hold, uh, and just drag it around. So that yeah, that's that. 
what you want to do now is that you see um if once you have the video where you want it you're going to click add right here effect strip and transform so now we have th this is its own little video also it's the same thing right now but it's its own little video so now this is where this part comes into play the the um the end menu i guess you could call it where you press the letter n so um you see where it says blend you want it to be alpha under this is where you need the video to be transparent or the picture to be transparent because then where those checkers are that's where the videos are now but you see that the video doesn't really fit now because it's the entire video i can't really explain it. but it's just showing this little small part of the video so you're going to want to crop the video just to fit that so what we're going to do um is position let's not worry about that right now we, we will use it later but scale is what you need scale 0.5 by 0.5 works for, for me you're gonna have to play around with this and see what works for you um this little rectangle should be a 16 by 9 ratio if you want the video to fit perfectly but if it's like a square or something that's okay um you'll just have to play around around with it so now that you see that we have my video at 0.5 by 0.5 it's half the size and now i can position it correctly if um to how i want it so i played with it and i got about 22 by negative 22 and it fits about perfectly. Let's actually crop that little black bar right there. Okay, there we go. So let's do just negative 21.5. That should be good. All right. So now that you see, it fits. Um, so that's good. This is where you can add music if you want. I don't care. Um, I'm not going to do it just for the sake of this video. Um, and yeah, that's really about it, guys. Um, so you can go ahead and click animate after you select right here where it says PNG. You're going to change it to... Uh, h.264 if you want um you can use abr i don't care it's just personal preference then go to encoding and then go to uh h.264 there it is where it says format and then you're going to do audio coding where it says that you're going to click that and press mp3 so that'll actually render your video with audio because it default by default it doesn't render with audio so that's very important too so basically it's done now as you can see when i render out one frame it actually has a video in it and that's it's all good guys it's all good so you can go ahead and render that out so yeah this tutorial really just de depends on what you want so you know what your frame rate is because mine was 30 fps if it's 60 fps and you want a 20 second video do 1200 like i said um if you want music in yours which i'm sure you do but i'm just too lazy to put it in since this is a tutorial and yeah stuff like that um and you know the sizing and the positioning so that's really about it for this tutorial guys if you have a question comment it down below but if you don't, then leave a like on the video. That'd be really highly appreciated. And maybe even subscribe. That'd be nice. Um, but anyways, guys, we will see you in the next one.